Hello everyone. Welcome to this tutorial. So in this tutorial, we will solve problems related to orthogonality, projection and least squares method. So in this first example, you are given a set of vectors. So we are going to find which pairs of vectors in this given set are orthogonal. So let the first vector be u, second be v and the third be w. So let us first check whether u and v are orthogonal to each other or not. Let us compute the dot product of uh, u and v vectors and verify whether they are orthogonal or not. So u dot v is equal to minus 2 plus 6 minus 4. So which is equal to 4 minus 4 that is 0. So therefore u and v are orthogonal to each other. So now let us check whether u and w are orthogonal to each other. So the dot product is u dot w is equal to 4 plus 24 that is equal to 28. So this is not equal to 0 therefore u and w are not pairs of orthogonal vectors. So let us check whether v and w are orthogonal or not. So the dot product is v dot w that is equal to 6 minus 6 this is equal to 0 so therefore these two are orthogonal to each other so therefore u comma v and v comma w are orthogonal pairs of vectors in this example for a given vector a first let us find the projection matrix Next, you will obtain the projection of another vector b onto this a and compute the error. So, as discussed in the lectures, the projection matrix p is equal to a into a transpose divided by a transpose into a. So, let us find a into a transpose. So, this is equal to, that is equal to now we shall find a in a transpose into a which is equal to so that is equal to 18 we have a into a transpose and also a transpose into a so we get the projection matrix is equal to so this is our projection matrix So now we are going to find the projection of a vector b onto a. So the projection of b onto the vector a can be obtained by multiplying this projection matrix with the vector b. So that is equal to ten by nine. minus 5 by 9 10 by 9 and 5 by 3 so once we have obtained this projection we can compute the error So when you subtract the projection from the vector b, we get the error. So which is equal to? So in this example, for a given vector, we have found the projection matrix. And using this projection matrix, we have found the projection of another vector onto this a vector and computed the error. Let us have a short recall of the least squares method. Where we are going to use this least squares method to find the line of best fit for a given set of data points. So how we are going to do? We are going to find the offsets or residuals of points from the plotted line and we are going to minimize this sum of the offsets. So this line of best fit represents the general trend of the data and it is used for regression analysis. So let us solve a problem for this least squares method. So in this example, 
you are given a table of data points with x and y you are going to find the best line fit so this is the plot of data points in the x and y plane so if you look at this picture you can see that x and y have some kind of linear relationship so by using least squares method we are going to find the best solution that is x hat so in order to solve this x hat let us first find the values for a transpose a and a transpose b and find the set of linear equations to solve the x hat value so if you multiply the first row with the first column you get 55 and multiplying the first row with the second column you get 15 and multiplying the second row with the first column you get 15 and the multiplication of second row in the second column is 5 so this is a transpose a now we shall find a transpose b so this is equal to so this can be written a system of linear equations as follows so this is two equations with two unknowns so it is easily solvable So if you solve these equations you get theta hat prime is equal to 2.86 and theta hat double prime which is equal to minus 1.22 So we have obtained the best line through the given data as y is equal to 2.86x minus 1.22 So this is plotted below So this line passes through all the data points with minimal error hence it is a best line fit